For many couples, getting married in Gretna Green is a lifelong dream. And making their dreams come true today are American couple Walter and Gracie, who are giving the locals a dance lesson. Hey, how are we doing out there today? Dale and Pauline, who are braving the inclement Scottish weather. Today we finally got to do the ceremony that we wanted to do 21 years ago. And Alistair Houston, who's bringing a little bit of drama to town. You did this. And Father, no, it's done. Our first couple, for whom Gretna has always been the wedding destination of choice, are Dale and Pauline. A pair not shy about public displays of affection. Love you. Hate you. They may already be married, but their wedding wasn't the one they originally planned. This is what I wanted to do when we were younger. Go up to Gretna Green and we'll elope and we'll come back and we're married. Nobody could say nothing. But my mum found a leaflet on it. She said, I'm not having it. No. I am one of my daughters is getting married in church. We end up having a proper wedding. 21 years later, to coincide with their anniversary, Dale decided to take matters into his own hands. And I said to Pauline, we're getting married. We're getting our vows renewed. It's all booked. We're going up to Gretna Green to do what we originally planned. For Dale, it's better late than never. The couple first met in 1986 as childhood sweethearts. Since then, they've gone on to have four children together. We just literally hit it off. There was never a question asked, was there? Would you go out with me? No. And I used to walk her home every night every just night. across the road. Give her a kiss on the doorstep. <laughs> God's bringing back memories now. Now that they're finally making it to Gretna, they're intending to celebrate the occasion in style. Go on. We're actually going to stay on a campsite. It's just what we want to do. It's our thing. I'm hoping it stays dry so nothing gets muddied up. This is our time, and I wanted to show how much I love her. En route to their big day, Dale and Pauline are being accompanied by one daughter, one granddaughter, and a best man. Following in the car behind. Hey, huh? How's your sign? Gretna Green. For Dale and Pauline, it's been an emotional journey in more ways than one. It is literally just over the border, isn't it? That's it. That's big what you think, is it? Hey. Oh, don't! Don't! <laughs> oh, you fool! It's <laughs> only all real now. Why <laughs> oh, you bloody idiot? Why is that Our second couple have come a little further to realise the wedding of their dreams. Walter and Gracie have flown 3,000 miles from the east coast of America. It feels rather surreal. Really, really happy that we're here. For them, a conventional wedding in their hometown of Maine, New England, was simply not an option. After I had proposed, Gracie said, hey, Gretna Green, Instead of a ceremony in the States, why don't we have an adventure? How are we doing? Hi there. We try to do things that are different and fun and, and just change it up every day. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The couple first bonded over their mutual love of an all-American dance craze. Walter and I met three years ago. I went to a community square dance open house and we just seem to have this connection that we still are learning and appreciating new we things. still have a few crazy schemes to go. <laughs> Those are going to be fun. They are. <laughs> it's always going to be fun. That's, I know that for sure. <laughs> yes. Now they're in Wedding Town, the pair are hoping that they can convert the locals to the joys of a distinctly un-Scottish hoedown. 
Well, I would love to bring square dancing to Gretna. I think that it's time for square dancing to become part of the heritage here in Gretna. This is amazing. It's beautiful. And one of the most famous places to get married on the planet. Meanwhile, hotelier Alistair Houston is planning the third event of his Centenary Week celebrations. He's already been busy with his love wall and giant thistle. It's great. I'm really pleased with it. Now, with only a couple of days left to come up with something else, he's called his staff in for a brainstorming session. But what about getting an element of history coming alive and having a reenactment. Susan, what do you think about that? How do you, how, how do you think that would work? I think we could do that as a bit of a, a surprise. But that'd be fun. Yeah, yeah that'd be fun. Yeah. Who, would, who would we need as a cast for that, for, for setting up the reenactment? How many, what would be the minimum cast? Obviously, you need a bride, yeah. uh, bride, young bride and groom, blacksmith, angry father. angry father, and a henchman, all armed with horse whips and pistols, yeah. potentially. Alistair is confident that he can cast most of the play locally. However, there's one role that's causing concern. We have a rehearsal with the actors who are going to be performing the key roles. What we need is somebody to play the angry father. So that's one of the challenges over the next not very many hours. I think it's going to be a really fun production, this. But I'm not a scriptwriter, so this is going to be interesting. Does anybody know of an actor of a certain age that would play the angry father? Thinking caps on, we're needing one key member of the cast. So that's what we need to try and find. I'll leave it with you. With the first rehearsal planned for tomorrow and only two days until the actual event, the clock is ticking. We need a, a male actor. With your connections at the green room, you might know a gentleman that would fit the bill. Will you have a think about it and, and come back to us? If there's anybody else who's got any other ideas, we're, de we're desperate for an angry father. Cheers. Bye-bye. Gretna Green runaway weddings were about drama and energy and anxiety. And put bluntly, there's going to be a little bit of all of those things in this production, I think. <laughs> Oops, so Charlotte's just become a harlot. That's a pity. <laughs> Married couple Dale and Pauline have arrived in Gretna for their second time around wedding blessing. Their first job, sorting out the accommodation. Right, we'd better get the tent up, otherwise nobody's going to get any sleep tonight. Just like the course of true love, it's not something that's going to run smoothly. Ah, oh, me fun, you div. It's you! Get out the way! I'm going to kill him. Driving me mad now. I can't push it! Get off! Are you done? Not quite. But seasoned campers Dale and Pauline have catered for all possible eventualities. These are the most important things I've brought with me. Because if I don't have these, I'd look like I've been dragged through a... an edge backwards. Because my hair's natural curly and it doesn't look nice whatsoever. As night falls, there's one thing even Pauline hadn't bargained for, a late-night visitor. What's that noise? There's a moth. <laughs> Sorry. There's a moth or something. I can hear it. Can you hear it flapping? Hey, go away, go away, go away. Was it a moth? Yeah. It was stuck in between the curtain and the window itself. Don't go, no, Dale, walk down the field, walk down the field. Oh, I'll fly back. That's the only thing about camping she doesn't like. Moths. <laughs> Tomorrow is the start of another era. Good night. Good night, my darling. Back 
at the Smiths Hotel, Alistair Houston is still struggling to cast the lead role in his upcoming play. Margaret, have you got any angry father suitable people Just that you know? Your husband. <laughs> <laughs> but the show must go on. So for the first rehearsal, he's forced to stand in himself. So you're going to be the big birdie blacksmith, of course. I'm going to be the blacksmith. Yeah, you're, I believe. Man, maybe they're nice. So, hi. Like this, Hello there. Though. Alistair's my name. How do you do? The plan is that I give a few words of welcome, uh, setting the scene of why we're having this event, what it is here to celebrate. Right, let's, let's, let's crack on then. That's not my bag to be an actory, directory. Um, it's not something I've ever done. I don't think I was even in a school play. I might have been. Yes, I was. I was dressed up as a woman in a school play once when I was about 12. Charlotte, what have you done? Father. Charlotte, what in God's name are you doing here? I told you I would never agree to this. Despite his lack of thespian experience, Alistair gamely immerses himself in the role. I do not consent. You did this. And Father, no, it's done. I'm not sure what I was doing there. We seem to get there, but I definitely know that that is not a career for me. <laughs> With only a matter of hours before their wedding, American square dancers Walter and Gracie are taking in the sights. I love the architecture. Think those roofs ever wear out? Town tour complete, the couple visit their chosen wedding venue in order to sort out the last minute details. Do you have any thoughts as to music to walk into? No, you're going to surprise us. I, I, think, surprise that we, you. I think that we. Um, we were. I think we're we trying to get the bag. The, the oh, piper. You the piper? Yes. yes. All oh, right, then that'll be in, in, in the package. Yes. yes. Right. And then we'll bring you through here. You'll be behind the angle here with nice. your registrar and the photographer on this side. Super. Okay. How many marriages a year do you do? Just short of 1,500 last wow. year. That's a lot of marriages. That is a lot. So we're one of only 1,500. <laughs> but there is one thing about Walter and Gracie's wedding that will make it unique. Well, and, and we're yes. surprising um, everybody we know in America. They don't even know we're doing this. So the first thing they're going to see of all of this uh -huh. is the video and the pictures. Were, so you want to be able to keep it quiet for... We uh, hope we so. Hope so. We're going gonna, we're gonna to see. Wedding arrangements done, the couple head back into town with entertainment in mind. I think everybody is ready for square dancing lessons. I think they don't know how much fun they're in for until they come try it. Hey, how are we doing out there today? I'm Walter, this is uh, Grace. Um, we're from Topsom, Maine. We're gonna be doing a little square dance dancing today for anybody who'd like to get up and give it a try. Gretna Green's seen many unusual things, but square dancing may be a first. Right to the other way, back around that ring, all the way around when you get back home. Home's where you started. Head couples up to the middle and back, don't let go of your partner. The turnout may not have been huge, but for Gracie, at least, it's a case of a job well done. I'm so glad we got to square dance in Gretna Green. So oh. tomorrow, I get to marry this wonderful man. It's part of our, part of our story, and I'm, I'm going to be excited to share that at home. Back at the campsite, Dale, Pauline and granddaughter Paige are having what they think is a relaxing full English. What was that? Just felt the rain. Oh, no. As the heavens open, Dale and best man Cliff head to the shower block, while Pauline remains under canvas. I've never had my hair done, all my makeup done in a tent. Never. Dale's determined not to let the weather dampen his big day. I can't wait now to get down there. Right, I'll see you in ten minutes. You look really pretty. Oh, beautiful. Here you go. Don't have any much. Oh, you're all right. 
Just scrub up okay. Everyone may be dressed for the occasion, but Dale's memory isn't quite so impressive. I think I left my wallet back there. Outside? No, it's in the tent. Or is it there? You are pathetic. Bring umbrellas? No. You forgot the umbrellas? Yeah. Well, we rained tomorrow, my photo's done. By way of contrast, the sun is shining on Walter and Gracie. Look at this day. How amazing is this? The couple can't wait to tie the knot. I think we're a bit early, but... Yes, yes very much. Very. If you come back about quarter to two... Quarter to... and quarter just come right back here. Come back here. Beautiful. With an hour to kill, Walter decides to issue a late wedding invitation. I'm going to go ask the couple if they would like to be our witnesses. Oh, OK. Are you going to be right here? I will. I'll be right I'm back. Sit down right here. They may have only just met, but Walter isn't shy about popping the question. So I'm sorry to interrupt your lunch. Yes, that's all right. Because we're from America and nobody came with us. We have no witnesses. Would you be willing to be the witnesses? I'd be delighted. Would that be good? How, how yeah. long is it? Two o'clock. Oh, uh, no. Unfortunately, we have to be on the bus at two. Oh, that's a pity. It's five past two. We've got to be on the bus. OK. Well, thank you anyways. <laughs> Thankfully, the wedding venue have come to the rescue. The uh, blacksmith <laughs> went over there and cornered us as we were going into the whiskey shop. <laughs> and he asked us if we would do it, because they were from the States like we are. For Walter and Gracie, all's well that ends well, and their long-awaited Gretna Green wedding can go ahead. Welcome to Gretna Green. We're obviously the happiest of occasions, your marriage. Hi, Walter. Accept you, Grace. Accept you, Grace, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, for as long as we both shall live. I, Grace. Accept you, Walter. Accept you, Walter. To have and to hold, to love and to cherish. Grace, I give you this ring as a seal of our marriage. Let its constant embrace be the symbol of my love for you. Walter, Gracie, you know, husband and wife. After a 3,000 mile journey, the question is was it all worth it? It was definitely worth it the trip. Can't imagine having done it any other way, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so we had our own yeah. runaway yes. marriage. I know that my family is going to love it. Yes. They'll think it's fantastic. For childhood sweethearts Dale and Pauline, it's time to renew their vows. Welcome to the marriage blessing for Dale and Pauline. You are mine, my love. You are mine, my love. And I am yours. And I am yours. From the beginning of time. My priceless treasure. You are mine, my love. As ordained by God. He brought us together. <laughs> he brought us together. And kept us together. And kept us together. I commit myself, once again, to be your wife. I therefore proclaim that they are still husband and wife. <laughs> therefore, what God has joined together, let man not separate. You may kiss your bride, but you've already done it, so you can do it again. <laughs> After a 21-year wait, the couple have finally realised their Gretna Green dream. Enjoy the rest of the day. I will do. Thank you very and, much. Uh, come back and see us. We you will. Passing this way. Today we finally got to do the ceremony that we wanted to do 21 years ago, and that makes it extra special. Extra special, doesn't it? Yeah. And yeah, there you go. That's us.
just married. Just wet. Just wet. Coming up tomorrow, Helen and Sam's wedding proves a distraction. So concentrating on the road, Miss Baker. Steve and Diane are looking forward to their first time. It's almost like I've not done this before. <laughs> well, we've never run away and got married before. Whilst Alastair concludes his centenary celebrations with a theatrical flourish. Next 130 years. Yeah. Christ, what the hell is going on here?